So how long is the coastline of the Wirral Peninsula? Well, this applies to any coastline, really. So how long do you think it is? At first glance, the peninsula is a rectangle. So if we measure it with a really big measuring stick, it's this long. Well, no, it does not have a perfectly straight coastline. It curves and bends with little knobbly bits. So if we measure it with a smaller measuring stick, it is this long. In fact, thinking about it, where does it stop here? Not just for this peninsula, but where does any peninsula end and the rest of the landmass begin? And what about here? Although you might say this is a dock, and obviously not a coastline, Westflow was a natural harbour way before the docks were built. In fact, Wallasey was actually an island. The name Wallasey means whale's eye. But we can overlook that for now. In fact, this area is the home to the longest in the country. Check out our video in the link down below to find out what it is. But let's zoom in even more, and we find more and more bends and knobbly bits. That makes it even longer. You need to use a smaller measuring stick to measure it. Then you can zoom into each cove and rock and stone, and even the bumps on the stone, even to every atom. Then the tide goes in and out, changing it twice a day, eroding or even depositing stand and progressing the land out into the sea. In mathematics, there is a theory called fractals, where if you have a bobbly line and you zoom in on it, there is more and more bobbles to measure, and in theory it becomes an infinite length, which doesn't sound quite right to say that the Wirral has an infinite coastline. But this is what's called the coastline paradox. Go look it up. But I think 30 miles is about right.